Hello everyone, my name is Arden, welcome back to another video. Today I will be taking a look at the four Hogwarts Classroom Moment sets. So there is Transfiguration, Charms, Herbology, and Potions. So before I take a look at each of these moments, just to give you some base information on these sets, they each cost $40, released in January of 2021, and this uh, piece range ranges about to low to mid 200 pieces. So I'll just start from left to right, and first we have the Transfiguration Classroom, which I think is very nice. Um, the orange uh, book cover is really nice, creates a nice background to this set. I really like these window pieces back here, and there goes Harry and Hermione and Ron Hermione and McGonagall. Uh, so for this one, it is, there's two different designs of these. There's one that fold out and expand like this, and then there's one, one that you'll see in the Herbology and Potions, which have one piece that fold out. So uh, for these, there are another couple window pieces, which one thing I really like about these is the stickers that they use to add some more detail and depth to the, uh, the backgrounds of these covers. You have some wizard or wizard's portraits here, which I think are quite cool. Some candles, a cabinet back there, and this is the podium where McGonagall is meant to stand. You can really place the minifigures around wherever you want and use different uh, Harry Potter minifigures that you have. And I think that's what makes these sets quite nice. Um, you have a, uh, uh, just say, blackboard right there uh, with some chalk writing on it and just explaining the uh, the toad into the uh, glass right there or mug. Uh, you have a desk right here which has two seats which is meant to place uh, Ron and Hermione on that uh, where you can just have them listening to uh, Professor McGonagall's lecture right there. Uh, this also has a chest with it, uh, which just has some accessories that are going to be used for the transfiguration. And on each bit there, there's also uh, a Gryffindor logo right there. And uh, it also comes with a printed small textbook, which has a 1x2 tile there, which just has a different uh, print. I don't know if this print has come before, and that is a pretty nice one. I quite like that. Uh, so now I will move over to Charms, and the Charms textbook has a blue backing for the textbook. I would say this is probably maybe my favorite. It might be actually the potions, because I really like the potion stickers they have. For this set, you get Harry, Cho Chang, and this new Flitwick figure, which is in the design for the movies from the first two films, Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets. On the side, instead of the Gryffindor logos, you have some candles there. There's a fireplace in the background. A uh, chalkboard right there just showing uh, Wingardium Leviosa, some textbooks there, and a couple more symbols and some books there. On the back you have these walls right here which I think are really cool. You have the Ravenclaw banner there, but on the background you have uh, writings for all the different charms which I think is really, really cool. You have this cabinet here which has a key and a cup there, and the podium that Professor Flitwick is meant to stand on right there with a cup as well. There is a chest back there and a couple desks where you can fit your student minifigures and if you have different student minifigures you can also fit them on there. There's the small desks right here which actually have this one uh, upside down. Uh, so yeah that uh, charms one is quite nice. Uh, I quite like this stand here too with this glittery uh, brick right there. It's pretty cool. This uh, gold minifigure there is cool. And some more textbooks there is quite nice as well. So now I'll move to Herbology, which is in the style that I talked about before, which instead of just having uh, two things that expand, it just has the one, which I think makes this feel a little smaller, which I think makes sense because a greenhouse would, I don't know, would the greenhouses be smaller than the classroom? Certain classrooms would probably be bigger, like that Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom, um, which I'm excited for next year. 
Uh, so the minifigures in this set, you have Professor Sprout, you have Neville Longbottom, and then you have Cedric Diggory. There's this little uh, area right here which has different plants and some pumpkins there. There's a sink with a little bucket there to fill up to water your plants. There's a cauldron here with a mandrake. I believe this might be the same mandrake uh, that they've used in different sets before, but if it isn't, it is a nice print, and I'm always happy to get some more different prints and other prints that I can use throughout my uh, Harry Potter builds. You have a pair of scissors just to cut some plants, and uh, then here you have a textbook, which has a printed piece. I believe I've seen this one before, but it's still a nice one. On the back table there, you have another print for a mandrake. You have a cabinet back there, and then this little area with a bunch of windows and a couple lanterns back there. And uh, you move it to the side, you can see a door which can open up a bit, which has be be aware on it with a picture of a mandrake. You see a shovel and another plant and some vines going throughout it, which is quite nice. Uh, and then one detail that I quite like on this is the stickers once again, which I think are quite nice. You have the fat fryer back there, which is a pretty cool sticker. I don't see us getting a minifigure of him anytime soon, but it's cool to get a reference to him still. You also have the Hufflepuff logo right there. And then moving to the last book, which is the Potions uh, Classroom. This is probably, like I mentioned before, probably my favorite one. I really like the different potion bottles they have here. There's several different colors, a few different bottles there, some more, uh, uh, another potion there with that nice purple area is there. There's a mug down there and a pot, which I think is meant to be a smaller cauldron, a knife, and a spoon there as well. Uh, on this uh, blackboard, you have some different potion ingredients. And uh, there is this also, which has a cauldron. I'm guessing that's another potion ingredient and some stickers for potion ingredients there. You have a couple walls there of potions, which are quite nice. And then you have this entrance door, which I think is supposed to resemble a hallway which you, uh, that's a pretty nice sticker, and I really love these potion stickers. Up here you have these snakes, the three minifigures, of course, being Snape, Seamus Finnegan, and Draco Malfoy. There's this, which I think is meant to be a desk, but is also really the top of this to keep it together and uh, look better on your shelf when you display the spines and the covers. There's also a sofa there, which you can fit a minifigure, uh, depending on how short legs, of course, they would be standing up, and then a longer legs, normal size legs minifigure like Professor Snape can sit down, even though I really don't see Professor Snape sitting down in a sofa chair uh, teaching his students, but yeah, it's still a nice uh, thing in this uh, classroom. There's a ton of stickers here. You have some piping there and a portrait of a wizard, and uh, just to show you how this thing folds up, and so I can show you the other stickers here. That's how it folds up. It's pretty uh, simple thing. And then you uh, see this area, which has a cobweb, and it says Tom Riddle there, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's a huge books. Those are some really big books compared to the rest of them. Uh, there's another thing, which I think is a skeleton, maybe even a basilisk there. A, um, a another wizarding portrait, and then the Slytherin logo right there. So here are the minifigures of these four sets. If you were to buy a four, of course you would get 12 minifigures, which are all exclusive to these sets at the moment, not the characters, but the different outfits and uh, styles of these minifigures are different and exclusive to these sets uh, at the moment. So start. we'll start with the Transfiguration Classroom minifigures. So there's the new McGonagall minifigure here which has a very similar outfit from the previous ones, but the dress print is really nice. I like how these printings go along to the dress and just match up really nice. She has a black one there, and then this is the major part of this that makes this the new minifigure, is the hair and hat combo there, which I think is really, really cool. I quite like it a lot better than the previous McGonagall figure. I think even just this small detail adds a lot to this minifigure and improves it quite a bit. 
So the uh, hat is just can come off and then you can see the hair and the uh, wizarding hat there. On the back you have a more stern McGonagall face which I think is a pretty good face that resembles McGonagall. And then you have the smiling one which I think is also a really good face for Professor Minerva McGonagall. So the next minifigure, a figure we've seen many times, and that is Hermione Granger. So the thing that makes this minifigure exclusive is this new Gryffindor torso piece, which you will see with the other houses as well, except for Hufflepuff. We don't have this in Hufflepuff yet. Uh, so these ones have a uh, little emblem there for the house. Uh, so that's different than the previous ones where it just had a plain sweater, which I do uh, prefer the plain sweater. I think it's more accurate to the films. Well, these ones are a lot more accurate or similar to the previous ones that came in the older Harry Potter waves. This is the same hairpiece, head, everything really except for that torso is the same compared to the 2018 younger Hermione's and Hermione since then. You have a scared Hermione expression, which I feel like is kind of resembling of the uh, devil snare scene maybe in uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, but yeah, the uh, dark uh, or light tan, sorry, wand is nice. And then you have just plain short black legs there. And the next minifigure, is Ronald Weasley, which just like the Hermione, the only exclusive part about this minifigure, uh, or not exclusive to this set, of course, because it does come with Seamus and Harry in the other classroom sets, is this Gryffindor torso piece, which has that emblem there. You have the tie there, the sweater. It's a really nice sweater piece for sure. I'm not a Gryffindor, I'm a Slytherin, and I'm not a big fan of Gryffindors. So I'll try to keep this as unbiased as I can but this one is for sure not the coolest one, even though I just became biased when I tried not to. Just Gryffindor socks. Never mind. We'll just uh, stop at that. Um, the uh, face print is the same as uh, previous Ronald Weasley face prints, younger Ronald Weasley's, and the hair piece is also the same. You have a dark brown one there and plain short black legs. I think this is one of the most exciting minifigures of these classroom sets and this is Professor Flitwick because this is in the style of Flitwick from the first two Harry Potter films being Philosopher's Stone and Chamber Secrets uh, where of course he changes his character's design after that. Uh, the, he has hair, darker hair of course, he doesn't have the white beard and uh, yeah I really really like this minifigure. The uh, torso print is quite nice there as well. You can see a little tie underneath, and there's like a vest over the green shirt. Uh, plain short gray legs there, and a uh, medium color brown wand. For uh, other expression, there is nothing for this Flitwick, which of course makes sense as he has no hairpiece there, so you'd be able to see it. The next minifigure is the chosen one himself. Uh, I feel, I don't like calling him that, uh, Mr. Harry Potter here. Uh, has the same torso piece as Harry and, or uh, Hermione and Ron, which uh, is only different in the way that it has that Gryffindor em emblem there. You have the sweater piece, which of course is the same as the ones since 2018, except that emblem. Plain black legs, and this is the same face print and other expression as Harry's used uh, throughout since 2018, but I think it's a good one for young Harry, and that hair piece is also nice. A dark brown wand, and then the plain black legs. Then we move to another student, but not a Gryffindor this time, and it is Cho Chang. So this is kind of an interesting figure, as we don't see Cho Chang until Goblet of Fire, and this would be kind of like a Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets Cho Chang, wouldn't it? So, um... Uh, it's interesting that they chose to have this figure. I don't mind it. Um, this younger uh, Cho is fine. We now have a short legs, mid legs, and normal legs for Cho. This hairpiece is a rubber hairpiece. That is very, very hard to get off this minifigure. I guess I've had it on for since January, so I can't get this off. Um, but yeah, it is a rubber black hairpiece there. And just to show you... Oh, wait, I did get it off there. Uh, this is basically the same design as the Gryffindor one, just, of course, different colors for Ravenclaw there. 
Uh, the uh, Ravenclaw emblem is quite nice. I really like this Ravenclaw one a lot better than Gryffindor's. Uh, the other expression on this is a more sad and expression there for Cho and a more smiling one there. And of course, like the other student minifigures of all these sets, she has plain black short legs. And then you have a minifigure here. One of my favorites of this these sets is the Professor Sprout. So this one is very similar to the Sprout that we had in the minifigure series, which I have here just to give you a quick comparison of it. The torso is very similar with a few small details changing, and you do have some dirt riding up on the torso piece there. And of course she has legs, mid legs there, instead of the dress piece and the same hat combo there. Different color wand, which is an interesting change there. And I believe, unless, oh yeah, uh, that's cool. I didn't notice this. The expression is also a bit slightly different. Um, you have a smiling, more smiling, yeah, that's cool. I didn't realize they did that. Um, I quite like that to give the uh, figure some difference from its minifigure series counterpart. Uh, so on the back, you have the hood of Professor Sprout's thing, uh, jacket there. And then you have some more dirt riding up that matches with this leg print. I just really like that they use dual molded legs here and I think it looks quite nice. The next figure is Cedric Diggory, which I would say would also be Cedric during the uh, Philosopher's Stone and Chamber Secrets. So I believe that would mean, would that make him around maybe like year four, year five maybe? Uh, year three, year four, Year 5 Cedric would be my guess, um, especially since he has mid-legs that matches with when Harry and Ron and Hermione get their mid-legs, same with Draco and any other character who has mid-legs. Just uh, tan mid-legs, no printing on them. You have the uh, standard uh, coat piece there, and he's wearing some earmuffs, uh, which uh, there's nothing there, just you see the color of the coat. I think I like that because it just makes it very standardized and um, you can switch it up for whatever house you want it. Just uh, doesn't, it's not house specific, which I think is pretty good for a, a greenhouse setting if you were to make a mock of that. The hairpiece is the same, same as the face print for older Cedrics, which is a little weird being this is younger Cedric, but it's not like short leg Cedric. If it was, then I'd really want the face print changed. But since it's just like, just before he's gonna get the tall legs for uh, when he's appearing in Goblet of Fire. Um, that, uh, I think the face print works. Then you have Neville Longbottom, who is a great herbologist here, and uh, probably one of my favorite Harry Potter characters, and to me, the true chosen one of Harry Potter and the true hero. Uh, the back is the same, uh, torso print as Cedric. The only difference here for the outfit is that he has short legs. The face print, I believe this is the same as younger Neville minifigures, and he has some earmuffs there with a black wand. Just a comparison here, this is the Herbology classroom Neville from the first Harry Potter minifigure series. So the difference in this is he has mid legs, so I'd say this is probably around full uh, Prisoner of Azkaban or Chamber, um, Goblet of Fire, sorry. Uh, mid black legs there. He also has a different color wand, which is kind of a, some weird uh, inconsistencies there with Sprout and uh, Neville here uh, from their wand colors for the minifigure series in the normal sets. Instead of having the earmuffs to the side, he has a whole piece there for the earmuffs, which is quite nice. The facial expressions, I think, are actually the same. Um, oh, uh, yeah, they do look quite similar. The only difference here, of course, with the torso print is that this one just is not a generic uh, torso print for the Herbology coats. He actually, you can see the Gryffindor tie under there. But yeah, I quite like this figure. And next, move to the... Uh, Potion Classroom minifigures, you have this Professor Snape, which is different than previous Professor Snape, probably not for the best, as he is missing leg printing here compared to the other Professor Snapes. The torso print is also a bit different. I don't know if those purple lines were there before, but I know the collar and a bit of the uh, vest there are a bit different. He has a black uh, wand there, 
a bit more detailing on the back for some wrinkles of the jacket in purple. I think these expressions, especially that one in this one too, even though I feel like we don't really see Snape just lash out at people in the movies, like this is for sure more Snape. Well, I don't feel like we really see him like this. Um, just a few times. Uh, but yeah, I really like this Snape minifigure. Just, it's kind of a downgrade from the previous ones as he doesn't have like printing. Here is another Gryffindor student. We have Seamus Finnegan here, which has the same uh, torso print as Harry, Ron, and Hermione with that new Gryffindor emblem there that you see throughout the other uh, uh, class classmates of Seamus uh, with their different house-specific sweaters. This one, I think, is really fitting for Seamus, and I believe this is the same face print that we saw in the um, um, Whomping Willow set, uh, the uh, one that came with the Ford Anglia and the bit of the Hogwarts build from 2018, I believe. You have just a basic one, a smiling face there. This pointed hairpiece is nice. I think it's pretty good for uh, Seamus, but I really like this expression for Seamus. He has a light tan-colored wand, then we move to Draco Malfoy here, which is another new torso piece. I don't believe this one appear has appeared in any other sets for Slytherin. You have the Slytherin emblem right there, which for me being a Slytherin, I quite like. And then you have the uh, black one, or actually, sorry, that's dark brown. And then you have the uh, face print, which I think really is good for Draco. This one I think is also really good. And this hairpiece I think is good. I think for Draco, they can't really change it now. But they're the other blonde piece. I have this uh, Sylvie beside me right now that give you the breast idea. This is more the uh, piece I would like to see. Uh, I, in this color for Lucius and uh, for Draco, if they were to change it ever, that would be the color I would choose. Uh, but I think this is a really good Draco Malfoy, young Draco figure. And I would say these 12 minifigures are really, really good. Um, I don't know if I would have, say, a favorite. Um, I like the McGonagall figure, the new McGonagall. I like those Neville and the... Uh, the Neville and the uh, Cedric there, but I think my favorite minifigure would probably be that new Flitwick. So yeah, that was the minifigures of this set. So here are the spines of each of the classroom books. You have a symbol on each one, which is a sticker representing each classroom. So you have Transfiguration, Charms, Herbology, and Potions. And each one also is kind of resembling of a house. So for Transfiguration, you have Gryffindor. For Charms, you have Ravenclaw. For Herbology, you have Hufflepuff. And for Potions, you have Slytherin. Throughout each one on the inside, as you've seen, they all have certain symbols or house mascots that kind of point towards a house. And their minifigures are also are kind of resembling of a house as, of course, the professors that they have in these classrooms are the heads of those houses. So uh, for these spines, I think they're very nice. Um, I like the different colors. I like this dark orange here, the lighter blue color. This brown I think is cool. And the green, I also really like that. These stickers I think are nice. They're simple stickers, but I think they really get the uh, class, what class they're trying to replicate here. I think they get it quite well. I like these pieces here. It had some stripes throughout it and how they line up with all the other uh, moments. Uh, I think they look quite cool like this. This is how I like to display mine just on the side with my Monster Book of Monsters because I quite like the spines of these and I really don't have the space to have all these spread out by, their se by themselves. Uh, but I'm interested to see what the next ones look like as we should be getting two in January, which we should be getting pictures soon. Uh, which from the rumors are Divination and Defense Against the Dark Arts. I can't exactly remember. I believe it was part of the rumors what the cover of the book, what the color of the cover of the book was going to be. I think there might have been a purple one in there, which interests me quite a bit. I'm a big fan of purple. Uh, but uh, just like these kind of are resembling of a house, I'm wondering if those are going to be resembling of a house because I don't really think they can do that these make sense to do it, but I'm not sure if they're going to do it for that, which I'm happy with, uh, but I'm excited to see those when they do come out. 
Uh, but yeah, that was the spines of these books. They're very nice, and I think for me, that's probably the best part of all these is the covers and the spines. Here are the covers of all the books. They are, uh, they have the same general design with the Hogwarts crest, which is the same throughout them. Of course, the middle where the H is is different depending on the color of the cover, but there are some nice details throughout the covers that are different throughout each. So like here you have the cup, uh, there's also a mouse there and a cat there. You have another uh, cup or cauldron. There's a broomstick, which I guess is resemblant of McGonagall being a Quidditch player. And then I believe that would be a raven right there, or some sort of bird, which is... Actually, no, I think that does make sense. You do see uh, birds uh, in the Transfiguration classroom. I know for sure in the, uh, trend, um, the uh, Chamber of Secrets, I do remember seeing birds. So maybe that's what that is, but it's a little bit of an odd symbol there. Then for the... Uh, Charms, uh, you have a feather there, of course, for wearing Guardian Leviosa. You have the Sorting Hat, or some sort of Wizarding Hat, which is a little weird. Uh, you have a piece of parchment there, a wand, uh, another folded up piece of parchment, and then a uh, feather there, which I would say, you kind of, I would say comparing these two, the Transfiguration cover is for sure a lot better. This one does have some repeating symbols. Then uh, you uh, have, I believe that would be a uh, mandrake up there. Can't totally tell, or it's just a root of a plant, but it might... No, there's a mandrake right there. That would probably just be a root of a plant. You have mushroom, another plant there, a rake, and then some sort of small shovel there. Uh, and then on the uh, potions classroom, you have a few potion ingredients, like the mushrooms, this crystal, and then a bunch of different potion bottles, and then a cauldron down there. So comparing them, I would say my favorite one is probably the Slytherin one. I'm a big fan of potions and Professor Snape, so all the potion bottles are pretty cool to me. I would say the Charms one is a little bit boring with some repeating symbols like the parchment and the feather, but it is a big part of Transfiguration, or sorry, Charms. And I think when you ask someone about the Charms class, probably the first thing that will come to their mind is, of course, Wingardium Leviosa. So the back of these covers are quite boring as they have nothing on them, but you have a full printed cover, so I'm not too uh, bummed out about that. Uh, but you do have these uh, slanted pieces right here, just to add some detail and to be consistent with the other ones. But I would say these covers are really cool. They're, I'm really happy they're printed. I would say they would be a pain to apply because you get them uh, just off a bit and they won't look good together. But yeah, that was the covers of these books. I really, really like them and I'm really happy they're printed with some really nice details throughout them. On the box, this is another way they show how to display these sets, which is all of them connected. To connect these, they use these pieces connected to the studs on the outside of the covers. So this just allows you to kind of display them and you can also spin them around with your minifigures. I would say this is not the ideal way to display them. I'd either rather just have them all spread out or all the textbooks combined together. But yeah, this is another way, and I think a pretty decent way. You just, I don't know, you see, you don't get to see the really nice spines of these books. I don't want to take a look at all the boxes. They are quite similar. So just to give you an idea of the boxes, here is the Hogwarts Moment Herbology class box, which, of course, for all these, you see the uh, textbook there in the front while some of the accessories are popping out. Well, in the corner, you will see the inside of the classroom with the minifigures down here. And then, of course, like all LEGO sets, the set information right there and the Harry Potter logo. On the back of the box, you have to turn it to the side where you will see the inside of this set and how to put it back together, which is very helpful because you get all these accessories. You really need to know how to do it or else it just won't come together. And it shows the other uh, classroom books put together. So that is the box of one of these sets. So that was my review of the four Hogwarts Moments classroom books. Uh, I think these are good sets. I think they're good display sets. Display sets less so, but you do get that uh, spine like this display and the textbook cover display, which I think are some nice details. 
as well. You get quite a few minifigures, some of them, of course, all of them being technically exclusive, but some with very small variations from their previous version, but some more drastic changes like the McGonagall and the Flitwick. Um, I think the textbook covers are really nice, the spines are really nice, the accessories you get with them are really nice, and I would say all of these are worth $40. Um, it just kind of depends what you'd rather buy. Would you rather buy some other Harry Potter sets like the Polyjuice Potion Mistake Save a Bit of Money, maybe just buy the uh, First Flying Lesson, and I think those are better sets, but I think for what these are, I think they're good play sets, and they provide a bit of display value with those spines and covers. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.